Hi, I'm Mel Douglas with Black Women's Yoga Collective, and we're gonna do a 30 minute energizing vinyasa flow. Let's get started. I'm gonna start off in a comfortable seat. So you can make your way to maybe an easy seat with your legs crossed and your knees out wide. Maybe a different seat if that feels right for you. <sighs> Ground your tailbone down towards the mat. Maybe you wiggle the flesh away from your sit bones. And sit up nice and tall, draw the crown of your head up towards the ceiling. Feel your spine get nice and long. And then let your eyes float closed and relax your shoulders down away from your ears. Let your hands rest wherever feels comfortable for you, your knees, your lap. And settle into stillness here for a few breaths as an access to Noticing what you need, noticing how you feel. And if you have a personal intention for this practice, I invite you to set it here. Just bring to mind something you might be reaching for or calling into your life. Whatever comes to mind, whatever your intention is, know that you can reach it. Stay here for just a couple more rounds of breath, settling into this stillness here. And then when you're ready, blink your eyes open and inhale to sweep your arms up and overhead. Reach up through the fingertips. Relax your shoulders down away from your ears. Feel your spine get even longer here as you take a deep breath in. And exhale your right hand down and out. Reach out through the right fingertips. Feel a stretch through the right side of your neck. Your right shoulder opens up. Take a big breath in, get full. And then exhale to reach your left arm up and over to the right, coming into a seated side body stretch. Maybe you keep your bottom arm straight. Maybe you bend your elbow in towards your side body, keeping both hips pressing down on the mat so it doesn't have to be a deep bend here. Just go as far as feels good in your body and take one more breath in. And stay in your bend for your exhale. And then inhale your way back up through center. Reach up through the fingertips. Notice the length through each side of your body. And exhale your left hand reaches down and out. Find that stretch in the left shoulder, the left side of your neck. Take a breath in, get tall. And exhale side body stretch to the left opening up your right side body. Maybe you bend your bottom elbow. Maybe you don't, your choice here. Notice what feels good for you. Take a big breath in and stay for your breath out. And then inhale your way up through center, reach up through the fingertips, get tall. And exhale to plant your hands down on the mat, swing your legs around and meet me in a tabletop shape. Tabletop stacking your wrists under your shoulders and your knees under your hips, or as close to that as feels good in your body. Spread all 10 of your fingertips out wide and press down through each of your fingertips to keep your wrists safe. And then bring your knees down between your hands. Draw your tailbone back, draw the crown of your head forward, take a breath in and a breath out. Inhale to cow pose, drop your belly, lift your gaze, and lift your tailbone up towards the ceiling. Open your chest towards the front of your mat and keep the press in your palms and your fingertips as you lift your tailbone up to really articulate that arch in your low back. Dropping your belly down towards the mat, take one more full breath in. Exhale to cat pose, round your spine up towards the ceiling Drop the crown of your head down and tuck your tailbone under. Hug your belly button up towards your spine, spine towards the ceiling as you really round and curl here. Feel the back of your neck getting a nice stretch as you drop the crown of your head down. 
Still pressing through the palm, palms, arms are nice and strong. Take a breath in. Stay for your breath out. Inhale, cow pose. Drop your belly, lift your gaze, lift your tailbone. Find that arch. Really drawing your shoulder blades in towards your spine to open up the chest towards the front of the room. Take a breath in. Exhale to cat round and curl. Tuck everything under. This time feel your shoulder blades pulling away from your spine as you open up your upper back. Take a breath out. One more round. Inhale to your cow pose. And then exhale to your cat pose. Round and curl. Really nice. And then come back to your neutral tabletop. Maybe you wiggle your hips from side to side, rock back and forth. Take some movement that just feels good in your body. No wrong answer. And then find center in your neutral tabletop. Re-engage the press in your palms, your fingertips, strengthen through the arms, take a breath in. And a full breath out. And then inhale to extend your left leg long behind you. Press back through the heel and point your toes down at the mat like you're standing on the back wall. Notice if you can square your left hip down in line with your right as you continue to draw the crown of your head forward. Feel length from the top of your head all the way to the bottom of your lifted heel. Take a breath in. And exhale your left knee in towards your nose. Drop the crown of your head down. Find that cat in your spine. Round it here. Inhale, press back through the heel. Extend the leg. Lengthen the crown forward. Exhale, knee to nose. Find that crunch. We've got just one more. Inhale, get long. Exhale your knee to your nose. Find your crunch here. And then step your left foot through between your hands. You can scoot it forward, wiggle your back knee back or forward, depending on what feels right for your body. Bending into your front knee, stack your front knee over your front ankle or as close to that as feels right for you. And point your front toes forward, setting up a low crescent lunge base. When you feel ready, inhale to reach your arms up and overhead. Relax your shoulders down away from your ears. Draw your left hip back, send your right hip forward, and then send both hips down towards the mat. Maybe you keep your back toes untucked. Maybe you tuck your back toes if that feels good for you. Your choice here, wherever you are, lift up through the fingertips, get tall. Exhale to cactus your arms, bring your elbows in line with your shoulders. Lift your chest, lift your gaze, take a baby back bend. Continuing to send the hips down towards the mat, opening up, take a breath in. And a full breath out. Inhale to reach your arms back up and overhead, find length. And then exhale your hands down to frame your front foot. Draw your hips back straight into your front leg any amount for a half split. Option to keep a generous bend in your front knee, especially if you have tight hamstrings like I do. You just help uh, have a gentler stretch. So yeah, make you keep that bend in the knee here and just draw your left hip back, send your right hip forward. Maybe you relax your forehead down towards your shin, even if they're really far away and they're not gonna touch. Continuing to draw the left hip back to find that opening. Take one more breath in. And a big breath out. Inhale to walk your hands forward to frame your front foot. Bend into your front knee. And from here, we'll tuck our back toes. Lift your back knee. You're now in a low lunge. And it may take a bunch of little hops. It may take just one big step. But we'll meet in a forward fold at the top of your mat. Forward fold is where we meet. Feet are maybe hips width distance, maybe wider. And let the crown of your head drop down towards the mat. Maybe you still have a generous bend in the knees, even here, if that feels good to you. Pressing your chest back towards your thighs. Maybe your belly rests on your thighs as the crown of your head drops down. Take a breath in. 
and a breath out, lift through the tailbone, maybe start to straighten the legs, any amount, it's great. One more full breath in here in your fold. And exhale to fold a little deeper. And inhale to slowly roll all the way up to stand. Sweep your arms up and overhead at the top of your mat. Reach up through your fingertips. Take a big breath in. Exhale to your baby back bend. Cactus your arms. Press your hips forward. Lift your heart. Lift your gaze. So nice. Inhale, arms reach up. And then exhale to bend your knees. Sink your seat. Come into your chair pose. Your feet here are either big toes touching, kneel slightly, heels slightly apart, or you can have your knees out hips width distance and your feet out hips width distance. So just choose what feels right for you. Bend your knees, sink your seat down low and tuck your tailbone under. Gaze is out ahead of you. Arms are maybe in line with your ears or as close to that as feels right in your body. Take a big breath in. Exhale, fold forward over your legs, let that go. Let your head hang heavy once again. Maybe separate your feet if you had them touching. Maybe this time you grab opposite elbows and sway from side to side for a ragdoll. Or just hang here, let the work go from your upper body. Take a breath in and a breath out. Release the elbows if you took them. Plant your palms down on the mat. Step your feet back and come into a downward facing dog. Lift through your tailbone, drop your heels down. Once again, pressing down through both palms and all 10 of your fingertips to distribute the weight out of your wrists. Maybe you still have a bend in the knees here. Pressing your chest back towards your thighs. Gaze is back between your feet. Let your head hang heavy. Downward facing dog is where we meet. Take a breath in. And then exhale, bring your knees down to the mat. Doing all of that on the other side. Setting your tabletop back up, making any adjustments that you need to. Getting any wiggles out that you might need to. Hmm, reconnect with your breath and then when you're ready, inhale your right leg long and back behind you. Once again, stamping through the back heel like you're standing on the back wall, toes point down, hip turns down, take a breath in, find length. Exhale, baby crunch knee towards your nose even if they're really far away. Inhale, lengthen and lift. Exhale, crunch it in. One more time, inhale, extend. Exhale, knee in towards your nose, find that crunch. And then step your right foot through between your hands. Once again, adjust. Once again, once again. Adjust your feet as needed. Maybe you want to wiggle your back foot in or out. Maybe you want to tuck or untuck your back toes. Totally up to you. Bend into your front knee. Front toes definitely point forward when you're ready. Inhale your arms up and overhead. Low crescent lunge is where we meet. Drawing your right hip back, sending your left hip forward and relaxing both hips down towards the mat to open up. Lifting through the fingertips to find length in your side body. Take a big breath in right here. And then exhale, baby back bend. Cactus your arms, chest lifts, gaze lifts up. Take a breath in. Stay for a breath out. Inhale, arms reach up and overhead. Find length. Exhale, hands frame the front foot. Draw your hips back. Half split on the right side. Once again, maybe you bend your front knee. Keeping your right hip drawn back, left hip pressing forward. Maybe you flex or point your front toes, just depends on what feels right for you. 
and then relax your forehead down towards your shin. Even if they're not gonna make that connection, just find them reaching for each other here to deepen the opening through the back of your right leg. Stay for a breath in. And then exhale to walk your hands forward to frame your front foot. We'll tuck our back toes, lift your back knee, find yourself in that low lunge. And then as many hops as it takes, bring your back foot to meet your front at the top of your mat. Forward fold, head hangs heavy. Maybe you still have that bend in the knees. Maybe you straighten your legs a little bit more. <sighs> Inhale to a halfway lift. Come to a flat back, bring your fingertips to your shins or your thighs and draw the crown of your head towards the front of the room. Draw your tailbone towards the back of the room. Maybe you still have a bend in the knees. Maybe you find a little wiggle side to side with the hips. Take a breath in right here, find length. And then exhale, melt down over your legs, so nice. Inhale to roll all the way up to standing. Arms sweep up and overhead. Reach up through the fingertips. Exhale to take your back bend. Hips press forward. Lift your heart. Lift your gaze. Open up. Inhale. Reach up. Rise up. Get tall. And then exhale. Chair pose. Sink your seat. Bend your knees. Gaze out ahead of you, tuck your tailbone under, find that lower belly engagement. Draw your arms back in line with your ears or as close as feels good to you to find that chest opening. Take a breath in. Exhale, dive down over your legs, let that go. Forward fold. One more time, let's add that halfway lift. Flat back, find length. And then melt down over your legs, plant your palms, and we'll step back to our downward facing dog. Maybe walk your dog, bend one knee and then the other, pedal out your legs. And then bring your knees down onto the mat. Bring your big toes to touch and, and take a child's pose. Stretching your arms forward, letting your forehead relax down towards the mat, even if it's not gonna touch. Maybe you take your knees out wide for a hip opener. Let your chest relax, draw your tailbone back towards your heels. Staying in your child's pose for as long as feels right to you, reconnecting with your breath and your intention. When you feel ready, meet me in a tabletop shape. We'll set up our tabletop and we're gonna move through a slight variation of that with some things taken away and some things added on, and then we'll wind it down. When you feel ready, first inhale, cow pose. Drop your belly, lift your gaze, lift your tailbone. Notice the space you created in your spine, in your chest. And then exhale, round and curl to cat pose. Feel your shoulders and your neck opening up. Come back to your neutral tabletop and we'll inhale our left leg long behind us. Kick back, get long. Exhale one time, knee to nose, find your crunch and step your left foot through between your hands. This time, we'll tuck our back toes and lift our back knee, setting up a high crescent lunge base. So front toes still point forward, front knee is bent. When you feel stable in your legs, inhale your arms up and overhead. Once again, draw the left hip back, send the right hip forward. Drop both hips down towards the mat. This time, lifting through your back heel. Option to drop that back knee again if this feels like too much for you. Wherever you are, reach up through the fingertips, take a breath in. Exhale, cactus your arms, lift your heart, open up, baby back bend. Inhale, arms lift. 
Exhale, hands frame your front foot. You're gonna hop your back toes in like a foot <laughs> and then drop your back heel down on the mat in a slant, setting up for pyramid pose. Maybe you still have a bend in your front knee if that feels good to you. Draw your left hip back, send your right hip forward. And when you're ready, fold forward over your front leg. Let your head hang heavy. You may want to take your right foot out to the right to make space for your hips. Maybe you have a deep bend in your front leg. Maybe you have your front leg straight. Wherever you are is perfect. Take a big breath in. And a full breath out. Fold a little deeper. Inhale to look forward. And exhale to step your right foot to meet your left at the top of your mat. Forward fold is where we meet. Halfway lift, flat back, get long. Exhale, melt down over your legs. Inhale to roll all the way up, reach up and rise. Exhale, take your back bend. Maybe you bend a little deeper. Inhale, get tall. Exhale, sink your seat. Chair pose. Coming back into your chair pose, setting up that nice strong chair pose base. Inhale right here, reach up. And then exhale your hands through to your heart center in prayer. Maybe you stay right here where you are. Maybe you twist over to the left and stay upright. Maybe you like a little bit more. So you reach your right elbow outside of your left thigh and you twist your chest open towards the left. Notice if your knees are in line with each other. Notice if you can sink your hips a little lower. Notice if you can twist your chest open a bit more. Take a breath in. Exhale, fold forward from wherever you are. Let that go. Inhale, halfway lift. Find your flat back, long spine. Maybe you start to straighten through the legs even more. And then melt down over your legs. Let it go. Plant your hands. Step back. Downward facing dog is where we meet. Maybe you find movement, maybe you find stillness. Two breaths, inhale. And stay for an exhale. One more time, just like that. Breathe in. And get empty. Tabletop is where we meet. Meet me near tabletop and we'll do the other side before we start to wind it down. When you feel ready, inhale. Right leg presses long and back. Find that length. And then just one knee to nose. Find your crunch. Step your right foot through between your hands. Setting up your high crescent lunge. This time, tuck your back toes. Lift your back knee. Setting up that base when you're ready. Arms sweep up and overhead. This time, right hip draws back, left hip presses forward. Fingertips reach up towards the ceiling, find length. Drop both hips down towards the mat. Exhale, take your back bend, get it off your chest. Inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, hands come down. We'll hop our back toes in, less than halfway and then plant your back heel down on like a 45 degree slant, just slanted outward. Maybe you step that left foot way out to the left to make space to draw your right hip back, send your left hip forward. And then fold forward over your front leg. Maybe you have a generous bend in the knee here as well. <sighs> Noticing what thoughts are coming up for you as we pause here. Seeing if you can just come back to your breath, come back to this moment. Drawing your right hip back, sending your left hip forward and dropping the crown of your head down. Take one more big breath in and one more full exhale. 
Inhale to look forward. And exhale, left foot meets right top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, find the length. Exhale, melt it down, release. Slowly reach and rise all the way up to stand, extended mountain. Exhale, take your back bend, lift your heart, open up. Inhale, rise. Exhale, chair pose. Sinking your seat way down, bend the knees. Lift the chest, fingertips reach up. Maybe you stay, oh, and then exhale your hands through to heart center. Maybe you stay facing forward. Maybe you add the twist over to the right. Maybe you stay upright. Maybe you hook left elbow outside of right thigh. Seat is still sinking. Knees are in line with one another. Chest is twisting open towards the right. One more big breath in. Exhale, forward fold, let it go. So nice. One more time, inhale to halfway lift. Notice the length you created in your spine, maybe the openness in your hamstrings. And then fold forward over your legs. Plant your hands. Step your feet back. Downward facing dog. Maybe you take some more movement. And then find stillness in your down dog. And slowly bring your knees to the mat. Come to your child's pose. Stretch your arms forward. Forehead relaxes down, tailbone drawn back. Let all of that go. Maybe your hands come out wide to make space for your chest to drop down even more. In your child's pose, walk your hands over towards the left side of the mat. Maybe your right palm crosses to stack on top of your left. Draw your right hip back, open through the right side body. Notice the space you created. Notice where you can relax, right here, right now. And then slowly walk your hands through center and over to the right. Reaching through the left fingertips now, maybe your left palm stacks on top. Drawing your left hip back, really finding that opening in the left side body, the left armpit. Take a big breath out. Mm. Slowly walk your hands back through center, come to your child's pose. Inhale to roll up to a tabletop. And then roll forward all the way down onto your belly. Bring your hands to stack beneath your shoulders. And bring your big toes to touch. Zip your legs in together. And hug your elbows in towards your side body. Setting up a baby cobra. And we'll do this a few times here. Bring your forehead down to the mat. Draw your shoulders down away from your ears. Take a big breath in. And a full breath out on your next inhale. Press down through the feet, lift the chest, lift the gaze, baby cobra. Keeping the elbows hugging in, keeping the hips pressing down, really lifting the chest, inhale. And exhale, lower. Twice more, just like that. Inhale, press down to lift up. Maybe your kneecaps float up off the mat. Maybe your palms float up off the mat. Take a breath in. And exhale, release. One more time, just like that. Inhale, press down, lift up. Maybe float your palms. Elbows zip in, get full. 
and empty out, let it go. Tuck your toes, send your hips back. Take one more quick child's pose. And then come to a tabletop just long enough to swing your legs around and make your way to a nice comfortable seat. Stretch your legs out long in front of you. Again, maybe wiggle the flesh away from your sit bones. And bring your legs together. Point your toes up towards the ceiling. Flex the feet. Maybe you still have a bend in the knees. Inhale your arms up and overhead. Exhale, fold forward over your extended legs. Maybe you keep that bend in the knees. Maybe you reach for the feet, the ankles, the calves. It doesn't have to be the feet, but it can be. Wherever you are, press your chest forward first, and then exhale to let your head drop down. Maybe you straighten through the legs. Flexing the toes back towards the face to deepen the stretch in the hamstrings. Take one more big breath in and a full breath out. Inhale your arms all the way up and exhale to plant your hands behind you. Plant the soles of your feet on the mat. Scoot your booty towards your heels and make your way to lay down. <sighs> Keeping your feet planted on the mat, knees pointing up towards the ceiling. Walk your heels in towards your sit bones and your fingertips down towards your heels. When you're ready, inhale to lift the hips, lift the low back, take up ridge pose, keeping the knees drawing in towards center, though not touching, your quads are engaged. Maybe you roll your shoulders underneath you and interlace your hands for a bind. Maybe you walk your toes back and lift your heels to send your hips one inch higher. Wherever you are in your ridge pose, keep your chin off your chest. Feel your chest opening up. Take a breath in, get full. And then exhale, lower down, let that all go. Drop your knees to the left and the right a couple times for a windshield wiper. And then find center, hug both knees in towards your chest. Maybe rock from side to side, massaging out the low back. Give yourself a squeeze. And then when you're ready, let both knees drop over to the left for a stacked supine twist. Arms can come to whatever shape feels right for you. I like one hand on my top knee and then one hand outstretched to the opposite direction. Bringing your gaze over to the right or you can keep your gaze up towards the ceiling if that feels better for your neck. Wherever you are, relaxing both shoulders down on the mat, twisting open here, take a big breath, and empty out. Inhale your knees together up through center, and then drop both knees over to the right. Once again, gaze shifts up or left. And your left arm can reach out while your right hand plants on top of your top thigh. Or maybe a different shape. You can do a cactus or a T. No wrong answer here. Find something right for you. Take a breath in. Exhale, relax both shoulders down onto the mat. Stay for one more big breath. Inhale. And empty out. Inhale your knees back up through center. Hug both knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. Maybe find some rocks. <sighs> And then send both feet up towards the ceiling. Press up through the heels, coming into a gentle inversion to end our practice, a waterfall shape to reverse the blood flow. You can let your arms come out wide. Palms face up for receiving, palms face down for grounding energy. <sighs> coming back to that 
sense of ease, coming back to your intention, reconnecting with your breath. Stay here for one more inhale. And then exhale your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. This time, stay in stillness and lift your head and shoulders up off the mat. Curl into a tiny little ball. Get all of your muscles tight. Take one more breath in. Exhale to your Shavasana. Send your arms and your legs out long on the mat and let everything go. Let your feet fall out wide. Let your arms come out wide again. Palms face up for receiving or down for grounding energy. Your choice here. I encourage you to enjoy the Shavasana for as long as you can, as long as it feels good to you. Maybe you stay right where you are in your Shavasana. Or maybe you end practice with me by wiggling your fingers and your toes, circling your wrists and your ankles, turning your head from side to side. And in your own time, reach your arms long overhead, point your toes, take a big good morning stretch. And make your way over to one side, just long enough to press up into a comfortable seat. Take your time to arrive, sit up nice and tall, and just notice your vibration, notice your energy. Bring your hands through to your heart center, allowing me to thank you for sharing your time, your energy, and your practice with me. May beings everywhere be happy, safe, and free. May we all know peace. We bow our heads together to seal in our practice. And so it is. Ashe. Thank you so much for practicing with me. I hope you check out our other YouTube videos. Join me for a live or a live virtual class. And have a beautiful rest of your day. Bye.